all right so welcome for to this video i'm going to discuss the sum apps formula for this concepts of sales and stocks so if you miss this uh video you can uh, uh watch the previous video of my uh this discussion so we'll continue the sum apps formula uh, if you can try if you try to look at the sales and the stocks here for this uh shits <clears throat> excuse me so there are two items the same has been sold all right so with the same quantity uh no i mean other quantity different quantity so we'll reflect this into this uh stocks all okay. right so of course how many items has been sold so here the quantities how many quantities has been sold so we'll use the sum of formula okay so of course the formula sum ifs so some range so we will select the cells and then the quantity and of course i uh, will uh, proceed for the formula bar and then we'll make it an absolute by using by selecting d2 to with the price uh, key f4 same as d5 yeah as you can see here and then another separator then another uh, criteria okay so some range because we will sum the we will sum the the, the quantity all right which will be the sum range the quantity so the criteria so the another criteria is we'll select the sales again for the items sales and of course we'll make this as absolute okay and so we will reflect this we will define to the items on the stock so we'll select on the stocks of b2 here the items and of course we will not make the, an absolute and just plus uh, okay so as you can see zero for the webcam it because there is no webcam has been sold all right and if you try to scroll this down okay so trucks x trucks 16 gig so as you can see here trucks is because three for the rush 220 k ma so we have three items if you try to look at here the orash 220 k ma so we have three sold for the media converter so media converter is one so if we change this oracle or us to webcam for two value and of course it will reflect here also so that is the formula for the um the sum ifs so okay so and of course we will multiply this how much sold i will add some since the value or the quantity sold price okay so i will just we'll make it and of course we'll multiply this to srp all right so srp okay so srp multiply with the <clears throat> multiply with the sold items and of course that will be the price all right so so that's it for the simple uh, formula for this will be the sold items the equivalent sold item price it because to 550 of course this will be the result all right so i guess it's simple of this formula all right so that's it for the sum f we'll review sum f's this will be the range the sum range is because we will sum up the quantity the first criteria is the the items on the same page of the cell so which is here the items for as you can see here the oh, we change this one so it will be sales okay okay here the sales which is based on the sales is from the items here one is the sales of the quantity here d c we'll proceed back we'll uh, okay so and of course the stock we will define the stock base uh this will be the stock which is based on the items so that is why if we select 
this if this um row for the web gum it will solve it will automatic sum up the same items all right so that will be the sum ifs formula that will be used for the sum ifs formula and of course the sold price will just multiply this uh srp and uh, sold items and of course the remaining if we try to put the um balance uh remaining stock or the balance balance let me just say balance or the remaining stock i guess uh remaining remaining stocks oh what will be the correct term for that or let's just say um this will be the sold stocks sold stock this will be the balanced uh, remaining we just say remaining or um we just remain we'll put this as the um, remaining stock i guess okay we just leave balance but uh, balance is, is the money right so remaining stock i guess remaining stock so we'll just uh multi uh we'll just subtract okay we'll just subtract this um okay this will be the remaining stock so the sold stock sold price remaining stock all right so that's it for this video i hope that you will learn